Bashir of BeAHappyMom.com and our online store which is seen at CreationsFromJerusalem.com. In today's video I want to introduce a series of products that we're very excited to be making. These products are all aimed at helping children. They have predominantly an educational theme. Also useful items as you see with this teddy bear modeling a beanie. The teddy bear, which uh, is an old faithful friend of mine and now has pride of place in my treatment room, is um, modeling two of the items that started off our knitted items. And knitted items, of course, come from wool. So that's the theme of today's talk, is a, a couple of ideas about wool. Wool and cotton were the first two materials to be used productively in the world. We hear about this in the story from the Torah with the fight of Cain and Hevel, known um, usually as Cain and Abel. And um, as I say, wool and cotton were the first two products. So we're going to be concentrating for a few minutes about wool. Wool quite often is thought of as coming from sheep. That's the most well known. It also comes from a number of other animals such as the Angora goat, camels, two animals quite close to the camel are the, um, the vicuna and the alpaca. They look a little bit different to the, to the camel, but they're in the same kind of family. And there are actually a number of processes that go into enabling what is really the fur of the animal to come from the stage of being on the animal to getting to the store and being in a format that we're able to use for our craft activities or our work if we're working with wool full time. So let's think about that for a few minutes. Of course the animals need to be very well looked after. That means that the area where they're going to be grazing needs to have the appropriate kind of nutrition. They also need to be well looked after in terms of aside from their diet, the way that they're cared for in general is very important. And from there, they need, the wool needs to be, or the fur needs to be sheared correctly. And then begins a number of stages with the sorting, the washing, the, uh, the carding, a number of phases, then it gets to the spinning. And finally, it's going to get through to a format that we're able to use it. Wool is used very, very much in occupational therapy. Some of the favorite activities are knitting, crocheting, weaving and with children especially actually with adults also we use a number of different craft activities making pictures either abstract or with a specific design and um, this teddy bear again th is modeling one of our beanies that was made and it represents a few different activities that we're involved in the knitting took place there's some crocheting around the edges the um, flower is done by crocheted as well. There's a pom-pom on the top. And these are all different tasks and activities that could be of assistance, whether it's for hand function. In our situation, we're using our activities to help to start a number of, um, of products that we're making in order to help to create work for widows and for orphans. This is part of a service that we're developing to empower widows and orphans. We're very excited about the service and we're going to be letting you know about the other products that we have on the go. Our focus is very much to be using items that are as natural as possible. So wool is the first one. We'll be moving on to other materials as well. And you'll see other things such as shells, buttons and so on coming into what we're doing. We're hoping to be doing some a combination of some demonstration models some de demonstration videos, also some information videos, some videos that give you insight as to how you can improve the development of your child. All of these products would be of benefit to an occupational therapist, to a teacher, a preschool teacher, and of course to mothers. So please let us know what kinds of videos would be of interest to you and we look forward to sharing the range of products we have on the go. Please also just for a bit of fun Put a comment below as to what your favorite activity is. What do you like to do with wool? Do you enjoy knitting? Do you enjoy crocheting? Do you enjoy weaving? Or is there something more unusual, something different that you like to do with wool? We'd love to hear from you and do take a look at my websites 
www.beahappymom.com and our online store on creationsfromjerusalem.com.